I am Bakari. I am a Senior Technical Product Manager for AWS. I hope to see generative AI close the education achievement gap. I think that it can be a great use for us to leverage it to enhance educational outcomes and just provide access to more opportunities. So far, we looked at input, storage, and processing stages of how a language model works. Individual words and their approximate meanings are stored as embeddings. And these embeddings are processed by neural networks to determine the relationship between each word. This process, called the attention mechanism, repeats over and over again. It updates the meaning of each word using the context of other words around it. Once the model finishes the attention process, we move to the final phase, output. This is similar to filling in a Mad Lib. For example, if you ask, what ingredient should I add to make my chili spicier? The model treats it like there is a blank that needs to be filled after the question mark. It uses everything it has learned so far to propose potential words that could fit that blank perfectly. But it doesn't just stop there. It calculates how likely each word is the best fit, kind of like scoring each option. The word with the highest score is the one that gets chosen to fill in the blank. So how does the model decide which word to suggest next? Once again, it all starts with pre-training. When the model is scanning all of that training data, it keeps track of how often certain words appear in certain sentences. This results in a probability distribution that is used in this final step. Once it's generated the first word, it repeats this whole process over and over again to build sentences, always guessing the next word based on past probabilities. It might seem complex, but really, it's all about math and probability. Whew, what a journey. Even though generative AI can seem magical, its internal components are really just a bunch of numbers and steps and probabilities. And those components are the same ones that make up a computer. Input, storage, processing, and output. For a kid or young adult that is thinking about going into AI or doing AI, I'll say just go for it. It's a great time to be a part of it. This is something that's new to all of us. So it's like, if you're gonna do it, do it now and just enjoy the ride.